Hi everyone. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode of this whole project here. What I planned or, or actually what I had in mind for the butterflies is to create a system for them that where they behave in a certain way or certain patterns. So what I originally envisioned for, for the AI, for the butterflies was for them to have pretty much in the beginning, I thought just two simple rudimentary behaviors. One would be flying just to random locations in the environment. And then the other one would be to fly to random spots that they orbit for a period of time, usually just a random period of time. So what I realized in order to do this, what I have to do is to build a behavior tree. And I've never used this before. I've never even heard of the concept before. So I had to dive in to all the things I can read and watch about behavior trees. And it made, and it made sense to me that this is the best way to create AI uh, behavior. For those who don't really know what a behavior tree is or are not very familiar with it at this point, in a nutshell, it allows you to control the behavior of AI character or pawn characters. And what it does is it allows you to create a, a structure for their behavior that's a lot more efficient than just using blueprints. So think about it in terms of creating a brain for your AI character or, or NPCs, whatever you want to call them. And this allows you to create a whole structure for their behavior that follows certain patterns and rules that you create. So for in my case, what I did was just create a simple pattern for these butterflies. Basically, what would happen is it starts at the root of the behavior tree. And then the first action would be to randomly select an action for the butterfly to do. And there's really only two. Well, there was only initially two that I created here, or there's just two base ones that exist overall in the butterfly's uh, uh, behavior tree. And as I mentioned before, one is just to go flying to another, to a random direction in the environment. And then the other one is to go to a target and orbit around them. And how I did that, the, the first part was fairly simple in terms of flying to uh, random parts of the environment. Basically, it's just your rudimentary uh, uh, blueprints, uh, structures that finds random points. And then the butterfly will go there. And then the other one would be, was just a little bit more complicated in that. I had to create predefined um, spots in the environment and actually create parameters for them um, in terms of what they are. And really there were only two, there were only two uh, parameters. One was just a static location and then the other one was a flower. Now, uh, for demonstration purposes or simplicity, simplicity, I just simply created butterfly spots, or sorry, flower spots. And these fire flower spots are just designated areas that are targeted near the flowers that you see in the hallway. And then the butterflies will go there and just orbit around that uh, spot, which is located at a flower. And it just creates a point of interest for the butterflies to see, uh, just like an area for them to be interested in, in or maybe examining or just highly attracted to. So it was very interesting learning about these concepts and actually structuring them properly so that they actually worked. It was interesting learning about these concepts, especially, uh, especially for the behavior tree, in terms of like, what a sequence is or what selectors are. And just how, although how just how just basically structuring an AI, a general AI for for your for your assets or your NPCs. Now towards the end of the the stage, I wanted to implement another third behavior, and that's basically um, an evasion uh, function in the behavior tree for the butterfly uh, NPCs. Basically what that is, is that if 
the player, the current player gets anywhere near the butterfly, the butterfly will ev evade the player and fly somewhere else to get away from the, the actual player. So you can never get too close to them until they can they get a they get alerted or they get alerted by your presence and then they fly off. I thought it was just an interesting uh, thing to put in there just to kind of give them a more of a naturalistic uh, uh, behavior. So in a nutshell, what, what happens is that there's this, this evasion uh, function is always running in parallel using a simple parallel node. And that's always checking to see what the proximity, where the proximity of the player is in relation to the actual butterfly. And if it gets to a certain, and if the player reaches a certain distance between the butterfly, this, uh, this state kicks in and takes over and evades the actual player until it's safe again for the butterfly and then it can go back into its regular routine of just doing those other base those other two base uh, behaviors so in a nutshell that is the basics of this uh, AI or behavior tree for the butterflies I will definitely come back to it and refine it even more probably make modifications to the structure and the, the patterns and the rules. But for now, I'm pretty satisfied with what I have. And I think it's a great starting point for whatever comes next. I really do hope everyone that's watching this got something out of it as much as I got something out of it by uh, making it. And I asked in order for help me grow, I would really, really appreciate it if you could just hit that like button even better yet hit that subscribe button it would really help this channel grow and get things going for me because i would really like to do this even beyond the scope of all of this project in itself so until then thank you for watching and i will see you all on the next one